Hey YouTube, it's Joseph here once again, and welcome to another episode of Vintage Tech Corner on my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while since I've done an episode like this, but uh, I finally was able to dig around the house and find some more vintage technology that's been laying around the house and just basically collecting dust. And uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a smart, or really just a standard bar phone. This is a Sprint Cellular Sanyo LR4920, and it was circa 1999 to mid-2000s, like 2007, 2008, they made these phones. Sanyo doesn't uh, manufacture many smartphones or phones in general anymore. They've kind of uh, gone to a thing of the past. But I thought I would do a video on this product, being that they are actually quite rare, seeing a um, actual brick uh, cellular phone still in existence, especially being that this one's an old 2G LTE phone, and they're most of the time recycled. But uh, we'll go through some of the features that this phone features, including the ringtones and some of the games that came equipped with it. It's not the most fancy phone in the world, but uh, it's still got some pretty cool features. So uh, let's go on and power it on. And I'll try and get the screen in the video in focus. I might have to do some editing off camera to get this to work correctly because the screen is an old, basically, um, miniature LCD screen. And uh, it might cause some problems, but let's go on and give it a try. Okay, so it just booted up. It's got about half battery. I will show the adapter cord that it came with. And it's still able to pick up signal, but the phone has been deactivated since probably 2012. At the very least, maybe a little bit earlier, it's set to auto answer. And it would have the phone number, uh, or the time across. It's the old analog um, buttons. So... And uh, it's got a speakerphone mode as well. You just press speaker when you want to make a phone call. But uh, here's the menu. I'm going to try and get it to where it'll focus properly. There we go. That grainy stuff you see on the camera is just caused by um, the camera. It's not the actual LCD screen going out. So let's go on and go through the different menu options. Some of them we won't look into, being that this phone still has uh, some information on it. But I can at least show you some of the interesting phone features. One being is the key guard. So if I hit OK, it will do the screen lock basically, which was like the predecessor to like entering a password. It basically prevented the phone from making a phone call in your pocket. And uh, if you pressed the button accidentally, it would say pre, uh, key guard is activated. Press then hold the back key to disable. So if I press and hold the back key, it will reactivate. So um, let's go through a couple of other settings. Here we'll go to the actual settings. I will make separate clips for the separate startup tones, but let's go on and check out the different ringtones. So we'll keep the ringer volume at its normal setting. And we'll go to ringer type. And you see that it has the little note right there on the edge of the screen. I'll demonstrate why it's got that note in a moment. It's a cool feature that came with this cell phone. But let's go on and go through the separate ringtones without actually clicking on that one. So I'm going to hop on over and go to uh, Get New, and we'll just play through them. So here we go. Old alarm clock. Sounds like an ignition chime from a Honda. Antique radial phone. Or rotary, I should say. My bad. Swan Lake. I 
The speaker is on the back, right here. That's what produces the audio. Beethoven's fifth. Good song for the Christmas holiday season. Green, green, green leaves. Mm -hmm. or green sleeves, I should say. Foster, Kentucky home. I'm just hitting the key to keep it from going to sleep is all I'm doing. the moment. Sounds like something from an old Sanyo commercial. Asian jingle. Okay, so um, I'm going to go on and stop the clip right here, and I'm going to explain real quick what this is going to show. This phone had a really cool feature whenever you got a phone call. It actually played a miniature animation every time you got a phone call. So um, I'm going to go on and record the separate animations on their own, and then I will return to demonstrate some of the games and also the startup and shutdown animation and then the separate uh, optional boot-up tones that you could have used with this phone. So I'll see you in a minute.
right, so that's all the different ringtones and the really cool animations that actually came with the phone that you could have had as an option. Um, there's a few other things that it came with, like the different ringtones, which I've already shown you, but uh, it also had for roaming a distinctive ringtone. So uh, that's all the different ringtones that you had as availability. But uh, let's go on and move over to games. So you got to go over here to downloads, enter, and games. So here's the first game, Wild West Blackjack. These are all the demos. We never got the full versions of these games on the phones because mostly they were just too expensive and uh, they cost minutes. So we never actually installed them. So here's the first one. We'll go on and run the executable. It'll take a second to load here. So uh, basically it's just a card game. I'm going to go on and do max bet. So let me set up my max bet here, which is $100. And we'll bet that and see what I can win. Let's see if I can win $100. Um, double down? Sure, why not? I lose. Well, let's bet again. You sure? Yes. Hit. Hit. Bust. Rats. You only get a couple of plays. Before it uh, trips the uh, bust. Darn. Hit me. Bust. Darn. Hit me. Double down. Why not? I win! Yay! deal. Alright, so that's the trial. And then it'll try to access the uh, Sprint Store, which is no longer available because this phone is most definitely off the uh, um, cellular waves. But let's go on and move on to the next demo, which was a interactive bowling, which was pretty fun. I used to play this game a lot when I was a kid. This was like one of the only full-fledged games that you could play for free. So, aim. Give it enough power. Bam. And screwball. Whoops. Missed. That's okay. Let's try that again. I hit something. Cool. Nice try. <laughs> End of demo. So... Would you like to purchase? Nope. I'll exit the program. So, and then the last game was a Marvel game, the Dracula demo. And uh, basically all you want to try and do is you want to try and um, move across the screen and defeat the bad guys that are trying to destroy Dracula. But uh, it's not always easy. So we'll just see if I can do it this time. I'm going to sit on the bed here so I have a little bit of an angle. I'll try to keep it on viewfinder, which I am. Okay, so let's go into play. Level one. More. So, pausing it for a moment so you can read that.
So to move left and right, and then I think it's bite. So let's see. And I got to jump too, which is makes it very difficult. Especially being that okay, yeah. Bite. Well, cancel. No, I died. Cancel. But uh, kind of a basic um, action game. So that's pretty much the um, that's pretty much the LR forty nine twenty. Um, you did also have a voice recorder, so I'll demonstrate that here. Um, you press the side button right here. Press that, that side button, and then you've also got your volume controls on the side. But I'll go on and demonstrate it. So. Um, yep. Greetings YouTube, this is Joseph here reviewing the Sanyo LR4920. I'm going to redo that. Well, that's okay. Um, we'll go on and hit OK to exit. So, just a basic, it's RL4920, not LR, but you get the idea. So, go on and play it on speaker. Voice data. Can get it to play. Voice data. Hey YouTube, this is Joseph here reviewing the Sanyo LR4920. So, uh, you basically could um, record voice memos if you needed to remember to get groceries or something. You could press that and then you could go into your reminders list and um, do all that. So, I'm going to go on and record the different boot up and shutdown screens of this phone, and that'll be pretty much it. If you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed this type of content. I have a couple of other different devices that I'm going to try and review in the future, but uh, I just thought I would go on and do a review of the RL4920 since I was uh, pretty bored today. So, uh, as you can see, when it went dim, it activated the button lock, so that's a handy feature. So I will go on and capture the separate startup and shutdown screens now. So yeah, that's the Sanyo LR, or excuse me, RL4920. If you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll go on and show you the power adapter that came with this phone. Um, it's a very basic power pack, so on the back here, your back case cover is actually your battery as well. So if I can get this off, here's your battery. It's just a small lithium-ion 
nickel plant uh, nickel padded battery and if you lost your back you lost your battery so you're uh, pretty sure not gonna you're pretty much not gonna lose your uh, phone's battery you'll uh, want to make sure you keep your uh, phone together otherwise you won't have any battery power it does have an extension antenna being that it's old enough and it was still on the 2G LTE service so let me grab the back here and I'll put it back on I want to show you the back here. This is just the model information if you want to look it up. As I said, it's a RL4920. And uh, that's just some of the um, VIN information and FF, uh, FCC uh, certificates. So um, I'll go on and also show the battery. So it's a uh, standard lithium battery, 3.7 volts. And uh, this phone was put in storage for probably two or three years, so it shows the power that these little batteries could withstand. They uh, were built to withstand pretty heavy torment. So it just clicks back into place, and it's kind of like a Nokia. If you drop it, that part at least will um, survive the fall. But uh, I definitely want to try and get a hold of a Nokia 3310 sometime for my collection. But uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed, and um, I'll be doing more phone reviews sometime in the future. See ya. And before I forget, postscript, <laughs> before I forget, here is the um, Sanyo's battery charger. It's just a small um, AC adapter, and here is the end. It is kind of like a headphone jack, but you want to make sure you put it in the bottom of these phones or you'll fry the headphones. Uh, jack so just snaps right in place and then you plug it in and the little light will turn on red to let you know it's charging so that's really about it for the Sanyo RL4920 if you liked the video again be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time see ya